Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again, heading out in the Flak 88 truck, half track, the half track with the Flak, the Flak 88, the Flak 88, the 88 of pain, 88 millimeters of destruction. Uh, that's all I can come up with. Hey, if you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. So this truck, half track, armored truck thing is uh, more about the gun, of course, than it is about the truck. Now, there's things that come up, like when you're driving forward like this, you can't get the gun down, uh, that make it a little difficult to use. It does not have very much depression, but what a round and what velocity this thing has. This gun, yes, no, yes, eh. come on, man. Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy. Look what I did. Um, this guy... This gun... So this is something interesting. When you're running in a vehicle like this and somebody shoots a high explosive shell to you, a lot of times the uh, fuse sensitivity, there's... It's thicker than a lot of the material on here. So, like, if uh, you shot an M18 with a explosive round, that had a fuse sensitivity of uh, 18, 20 millimeters or whatever, it might go right through without exploding. And that's what happens sometimes with this. Now also, with it not being inside anything, it just goes through and explodes. And sometimes you can get away. I'm trying to hit the hatch on here. Hatch? Yes! Oh, the hatch! The hatch! Three minute clinic, it works! Um, so, this gun, as you just saw, oops, when it's not being driven poorly, you can make it around the uh, uh, field some, but you gotta really make sure you're on the right angles, otherwise you won't be able to get depression or get the gun to the right angle to be able to shoot any targets. Like, if it's facing forward, you can't get it down at all. When it's facing to the side, you can get like maybe minus five, but if the truck is leaning even in the least, it, you can't get it down at all. So you gotta find kind of an uphill like this behind a downhill. So there's a little valley here and we'll go up to where the truck is leaning to its right a little bit to make sure that we can cover, whoopsie, uh, to make sure that we can cover all the way down. So that's what the challenge is gonna be. So we're gonna try to find some spots where we can do that from. The problem with this vehicle is that if a airplane even comes to see us, Oh, I was going to do that awesome turret pop, though. Um, machine guns or high explosive is more effective against this than just a uh, armor-piercing explosive round. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, where did that come from? Now, luckily, they didn't get the gunner. Oh, my gosh, I was so lucky again. This thing can be so frustrating to try to kill, um, you know, when you're on the other side of this. That's two. Let's see if we can get three right here. Boom. Yes, there's three. Wow, I'm withstanding these shots. It's unbelievable. So this is a perfect example. When you're going against one of these, that you can't... I don't know what those guys were using, but if, they, if any of them used one high explosive round, it would have blown up this whole thing. All these guys would be dead. Uh, it seems like they were all using armor-piercing explosive, explosive shells, so they weren't exploding in here. Right, let's see here. Get this whole area here. I think this is where they're all going to be driving. All right. Well, they're going to need that vertical stabilizer there. Or maybe we won't. Let's see what happens. I wonder if we can pull out of this dive with ha Oh, with half of an elevator and no vertical stabilizer. Let's see if we can pull out of this. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so he shot one. How much speed do we have? Not much, only 100 knots. We're in trouble. Gotta get the nose back down. We got plenty of altitude. We got a lot of energy coming down there. All right, let's see. I bet we could fly this back out. 
if we went nose to, if we had time, we probably could have glided that to at least somewhere safe. Wow, that was close. That was cool. Uh, so what was I saying? I don't know. A high explosive round does the best. Machine guns do second best. And then uh, an armor piercing explosive does third best. And then probably a uh, solid shell after that does absolutely nothing. It'll go right through. It's completely worthless when you're trying to do this. Oh. Man, that guy's been just at the right angle for me not to be able to do anything with him. Reload is normally pretty quick, but my crew's mostly dead. There we go. Got to get the left side or the right side of that. You don't want to shoot right in the middle there. Oh, I mean, the amount of punishment that this vehicle can take is incredible. Now, to the gun. While we sit here, the gun was an anti-aircraft gun, 88 millimeters, so 8.8 .8 centimeters. Um, anti-aircraft, generally, that was the number one uh, reason to have this gun. Now, the idea was that they could put them on these trucks and they could have kind of a mobile anti-aircraft uh, inventory. But I don't know how that ever really worked out. I'm not sure. This thing had a massive crew. Six to ten guys in here. Driver, gunner, probably a targeter or something like that. Um, it was unbelievable. Uh, and it could shoot... What could it shoot? It could shoot like uh, 40,000 feet. Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. Let's carpet bomb this whole area. Yes. Let's see what happens. Uh, it could shoot 40,000 feet in the air. So you can imagine what this thing could do. Uh, oh, if you had a big group of them. Let's see if any of those bombs do anything. There's my plane. If you had a big group of these things, there's one, two. Ah, oh, what the? Oh, tiger. Well, you notice he shot me from the front, right down the line of the truck, and that's why I got so many guys. This game's almost over. Okay, so the main thing is these guns were designed to be mobile, shoot together in groups. They had a firing computer, which was like a mechanical firing computer, as far as I know. And we, we've probably heard about how accurate the flak was in Germany in World War II, and this gun, made by Krupp, was really what one of the... Uh, things that allowed that to happen. Without the firing computer, it was nothing, though. So you needed all the parts and pieces to make this thing work. At least make the gun work. You need all those parts and pieces. It's about the tools, Norden bombsite, stuff like that, make things better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven to seven. We win. Uh, I guess I'll have to, I love using this thing, so hopefully I'll be able to get another good game at some point, and we'll put another video out with it, depending on if anybody cares about this one, but anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, good luck, have fun, we'll see you in the next one.